Our next call is from Madisonville, Kentucky, on the issue of the Supreme Court and this presidential election. Good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing? Fine, thank you. Okay, uh, my, my concern is uh, I think we need to have more conservative uh, Supreme Justice. And, uh, and by, by I mean that is I think we need to vote, uh, and I, I am a conservative Democrat, but uh, I think we need to vote for John McCain because at least he would bring in conservative judges and uh, then we would have somebody, we would have the, the right kind of judges on there that would make the right decisions for America. And if we get Obama in there, he's going to bring in liberal judges. And we don't need, we don't need more liberal judges. We, we, we see what's going on now, and we need to get rid of the liberal judges and get uh, good conservative judges um, in the Supreme Court. Okay, thanks for the call. Chris Eliza inside the Washington Post. A look at some of those battleground states and some recent political history. First of all, Michigan, in which Senator John Kerry won with 51% of the vote back in 2004. Ohio, another battleground state. George Bush winning that state in 2004 by 51%. Nevada, where uh, President Bush winning re-election and Nevada by 51% of the vote. New Mexico, a virtual tie. Bush 50% in 2004. Bush's victory in New Mexico was the first by a Republican candidate since 1988. And Iowa, in which Bush won with about 50% of the vote at the start of the 2008 election, Iowa widely seen as the truest of toss-ups. Some battleground states from Chris Eliza, WashingtonPost.com. Vidalia, Georgia is our next caller. Good morning. Good morning, Steve. Um, I thank you for the opportunity to, uh, to share my thoughts. Well, thank you for phoning in. The um, Supreme Court, I think, still needs some more uh, movement to the right. Uh, the only thing that concerns me in today's politically correct uh, world is that uh, if we go to the right, uh, I'm wondering is are we going to speak only for the rich and the powerful, uh, which is a major, major concern uh, to me. Uh, I'm a grassroots Republican, which means I'm out of sight and out of mind. And the only, the only time they recognize grassroots Republicans is in the election period when they expect the grass to grow, uh, turn green and, and they want to uh, call on us. And the reason that the Republican brand is no good these days is because they refuse to listen to grassroots Republicans, which uh, in many cases, particularly here in the South, are actually conservative Democrats. How would you know whether they're listening? What action by either President Bush, Senator McCain, or the Republican Party do you want to see? All right. Well, uh, all you've got to do is uh, look what a debacle the housing thing, uh, thing got into. Mm -hmm. uh, look uh, what oil prices has done. Uh, you can shear the sheep many, many times. But you can only skin him once, and we are getting skint to the bone out here now, and they don't care. Who are you voting for? I don't have a, I don't have a candidate right now. Uh, that's regrettable to say. Uh, I'm not convinced that John McCain is going to vote in my interest on immigration or anything else. I want my borders closed, and then we can solve this comprehensive uh, immigration thing. I mean, that's... Uh, uh, do your job first, mm -hmm. then, and then we can work out the details. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for calling from Georgia. 